you some fun stuff real quick. So I got a clip here from the Young Turks. So Marjorie Taylor Greene comes back again. So there's the whole thing going on in Israel. Uh, we haven't covered it much, but, you know, they're moving into Rafah. They're, they lost count. It's tens of thousands of Palestinians have been killed um, from the Israeli response to Hamas. Um, I'm not saying don't go after Hamas. I'm just saying you don't need to carpet bomb civilians to do it. Um, there's no reason to burn down the forest because one tree is sick. Um, but that's kind of what they're doing. It's, it's basically, it's a genocide. And that's not us saying that that's the world court. And the Hague right now is going after them for being an apartheid state and for, for committing genocide. And they're going after Netanyahu and his regime. That's what's happening. Um, if you guys want to call and argue with us, we can. I, I'm not really an expert on it. I can just tell you what I know from, from politics, from studying in college and from what I read. But um, because of that, it's become a heated thing. And there's been a lot of protests in Israel and Europe and here in the United States, especially on college campuses. And that's become an issue. And so Marjorie Taylor Greene's bringing it up. Because now the right wing's whole thing is they're all in support of Israel. Doesn't matter how many Palestinians they kill women and children, doesn't matter, starve them out, they don't care, as long as Israelis get what they want, that's kind of their thing, and their whole spin on this is, well, if you don't support Israel, you're anti-Semitic, and it's like, well, no, because most Israelis don't support Netanyahu, and they're really upset with him, and most American Jews don't support Israel and what's going on right now. So it's kind of a backwards thinking. But here's Marjorie Taylor Greene, and instead of being anti-Semitic, she decides to go completely anti-Muslim. <laughs> so let's uh, let's well, just okay. yeah, let's just insult the other because it's okay to it's, it's okay to be you know prejudiced against Muslims. It's not okay to be prejudiced against Jews. Well, and now that we know what's fashionable. Yep. So here's Marjorie Taylor Greene going full turn into the skid. Censuring Representative Ilhan Omar of Somalia, I mean, Minnesota. You've probably oh. seen, you've probably So, this is a Miranda Scholl with TYT. So, Ilhan Omar is from Minnesota. She's Muslim. She's been in the House for a long time now. Um, she's very, you know, liberal. Um, but she was a, a refugee. She's a naturalized citizen. And... She's basically saying, I want to censure her for speaking out against Israel's tactics. Now, it's not shocking, too, because Israel's tactics have gotten so bad that Biden finally, and Biden is all in the tank for Israel. Biden finally said, oh, we're going to cut back on some of the weapons we send you. Not like it does a huge deal, but at least he's making a statement, right? But how does she start? Oh, Ilhan Omar from Somalia. I mean, Minnesota. <laughs> Like she's not an American. That shit. I mean, it's just, it's just horrific how she does this. So we'll skip into a little bit more, but it just amazes me how horrible she is. So. On the floor. Whereas Representative Ilhan Omar took an oath of allegiance to the United States upon becoming a citizen, declaring, I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Whereas on January 27, 2024, Representative Omar gave remarks at an event in Minneapolis in which she made treasonous statements. Whereas Representative Omar said she has spoken to many Somalians who asked her to intercede for the Somali government by pressuring the United States government into certain actions. Whereas Representative Omar assured the Somalians she spoke to, the U.S. government will only do what Somalians in the U.S. tell them to do. They will do what we want and nothing else. They must follow our orders, and that is how we will safeguard the interest of Somalia. Whereas Representative... <laughs> so if you haven't figured out, this is all a lie. <laughs> it's all... Bullshit. Minnesota has a huge Somali community. 
Muslim community in Minneapolis. Huge. And those people are there and they have issues and interests, but they're citizens of the United States. Right? And when they say, hey, we've got family and stuff in Somalia, and we've got issues and blah, blah, blah. Omar can say, well, yeah, as your representative, I can address those. But, I, you know, that's all I can really do. Right? Because it's a foreign affairs issue. It's, it doesn't just affect one community. Sure. Right? In Minneapolis. So, I mean, it's kind of bullshit. So Marjorie Taylor Greene's trying to spin this like this. She's got some big conspiracy like she's a some spy for the Somali government or something. She's some long-time plant. <laughs> it's just amazing to me. Remember, this is the Jewish space lasers lady. You want to talk about anti-Semitic? Jewish space lasers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is and the yet they, right, they're going to keep re-electing this crazy lady. Well, she's talking about treason. I'm sorry, aren't you the one that supported January 6th and said those people were are all political prisoners and hostages? The people that tried to overthrow the government, that tried to overthrow an election? <laughs> She's such a hypocrite. Watch a few more seconds of this, it's just crazy. Representative Omar continued, for as long as I am in U.S. Congress, Somalia will never be in danger. Its waters will not be stolen by Ethiopia or others. Sleep in comfort knowing I am here to protect the interest of Somalia from inside the U.S. system. If you're unaware, this is all in response to a speech that Representative Omar was giving that was clearly not fact-checked by Marjorie Taylor Greene or her team when it came to the mistranslations. What she actually said was, the U.S. government will do what we ask it to do. We should have this confidence in ourselves as Somalis. We live in this country. We are taxpayers in this country. This country is one where one of your daughters sits in Congress. While I am in Congress, no one will take Somalia. See, the United States will not back others to rob us. So do not lose sleep over that, oh Minnesotans. The lady you sent to Congress is on this. And so basically said, yeah, I'm going to try and make sure that Somalia doesn't get invaded. <laughs> As a Raja representative, I understand that's a concern. So I'm going to address that and, you know, and we have, we have some interest in Somalia. I don't know if it's one of the countries where, I mean, it might be one of the countries where they found lithium. That would be, that would be bad for Somalia because we'd basically invade it. <laughs> so... Hate to say it, but if they've got if they've got lithium, if they got oil, if they got nuclear, we're going in. <laughs> but but yeah, so she wants to censure her and she wants to have her deported. They're like, okay, Marjorie, you can't deport a U.S. citizen. Where are you gonna Where are you gonna deport her? Duluth, Bemidji. <laughs> <laughs> Duluth, definitely Duluth. <laughs> She's a Minnesotan. Where are you going to deport her? <laughs> Can we deport Marjorie Taylor Greene? Moorhead, Minnesota. Ugh, God. <laughs> Moorhead. That's a real place. I know it is. I know it just cracks me up. So, Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,